Hey guys, today I found these two very interesting MetaZoo products. Essentially, they are our version of Elite Trainer Kits in Pokemon or Fat Packs in Magic. So they come with 10 booster packs, one promo, a metallic coin, sleeves, and so on. And there hasn't been much activity, right? Uh, now, I'd be about two a day are selling, which isn't too bad, but at $11.99 it's, it's pretty interesting or $12.98 or free shipping cost it, the, the value is about the same right and uh, so there's actually two sets UFO and Wilderness uh, these are I believe first edition at least Wilderness is first edition and for the low low price of like 12 bucks like under $15 you essentially get 10 packs sleeves a promo card this stuff is really dirt cheap. I mean, I have no idea why people are buying it for $500 a box. But at this price, it's cheaper than Inuyasha TCG. It's cheaper, cheaper than Chaotic, Chaotic. I mean, in fact, if you just want to rip something, um, I have never seen a game this cheap before. And I was approached uh, recently by a game store owner. He wanted to... Me, wanted me to order a bunch of Hello Kitty. I said, no, no thanks. I'll pass on that. And he then wanted me to offload a ton of booster boxes at very, very low prices. Um, I, I guess without identifying who this is, it is probably a larger store, maybe in a MetaZoo. I, I don't know what, what is big or small in the MetaZoo. Uh, they were going to offload boxes for $20 a box, and he just said, you know what, I just want to get rid of all my inventory. If you take all the boxes for $20 a box, I will do that for you. And I said, nah. <laughs> nah, man, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I am not going to do that because assuming most of his boxes are the stuff that no one wants, the liquidity is not there. So even though people are asking $40, $50, 60 a box, uh, the last time a box is sold was a long, long time ago. So even then, uh, and then there was also, I had to pay shipping on it, and the shipping, as I've shipped magic boxes before, shipping on boxes is extremely expensive, and it's not fun to ship, it's not fun to carry, and I don't have the space. That being said, for $10 a box, let me just go ahead and throw out an offer. I will buy up up to 10,000, no, that's probably too much. I don't have that much room. 1,000 boxes at $10,000, $10 a box. That is my offer. So Rudy Chan, I believe, is has no offer, which is probably what most of people have, right? I think it's fun, man. I mean, if you're opening packs for 50 cents or 25 cents a pack, are you really, in, are you really that uh, concerned about making money back no i think it'd just be a fun open i probably maybe 15 i don't know i definitely would could do 10 10 makes a lot of sense to me uh, mainly because it's i i buy a lot of really bad really really bad card games just to open uh street fighter versus and i, I think you know i just have this i just have this uh wantingness to open bad card games and meta zoo is bad man there's no there's no doubt about it all the most expensive cards are, are rudy promos and they always will be when your whole game is dependent on one person and that person is interested in sorcery interested in weiss uh as soon as he gets his hands on locano one piece he'll be interested in that too he'll be interested in offloading those you know that person doesn't really have loyalty um, to even the artists who made all these great illustrations, Poncho. So I put out that offer out there. Uh, if you guys have heavy inventory of Meta Zoo, I will put an offer off for ten dollars. I think ten dollars a box is basically liquidity. Um, no one else will liquidize you uh, at ten dollars a box. I will because at, and ten dollars, and I'll pay the shipping too. Assuming there's like a minimal order of like at least probably 50 boxes and they can all be the same set They can be wilderness UFO a lot it, a lot of people talk about the effects that these patrons had but what about these game stores? Let me tell you about these game stores man. They were so hyped on this thing and they were going the game stores too The game stores have a lot more buying power than an individual Timmy because they're a game store 
a lot of game stores were going to carry this stuff and then they realized wow i just made a massive epic mistake and that mistake uh i mean it is a mistake let, let me go ahead and tell you that was a mistake and for a game store to bet on a new game oh yikes um my best piece of advice is just go with the big free right uh go with the big free the end of the day, the big free is always going to be Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, and Pokemon. Unless there is... And you would see a mile away, right? In terms of player base, in terms of people interested in it, in terms of just overall what people like in a card game, the big free already has the player base. You need people to play the card game for you to want the card game. Essentially, that's what I think that's my opinion on it metazoo is really cheap i think it you know i'm just waiting for hello kitty to crash it may not crash because it is hello kitty but then again it may so there's no point like i don't know why these people are doing pre-orders on streamer kits who clearly never get them like why would you pre-order something that you're not like it doesn't make any sense only in metazoo would people be pre-ordering stuff right or god forbid you, you do magic the gathering right the man don't pre-order man you don't know if they got the stuff or not the the worst case and i think this is the worst feeling is if you pre-order and it doesn't come and you're just sitting and waiting and sitting and waiting and sitting and waiting and sitting and waiting mm, not fun man not fun right um, and I, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that that's probably, I mean, this game is quite interesting. It is quite interesting because at the current price level, I don't know any surviving card game that is at this price level for a fat pack or of content. Uh, essentially, let's say the sleeves are a worth a dollar and uh, let's say all the other stuff are worth $2. You're buying them for a dollar a pack. I don't know anything. Like, that's a dollar a pack right now with inflation. I mean, even sports cards like wrestling and UFC, they're way more than a dollar a pack. So I, I've never seen something like this before. And I think it's kind of interesting because you can accumulate a huge, huge position in it if you wanted to for really cheap. Offer stands, $10 a box. Uh, I will buy up to 1,000 boxes.